came to them from a producer, John Berg, who uh, received a pitch from uh, musician Dave Matthews. Find a reason to be here that's bigger than you are. I read about this family in the paper. I think this is it. Mm -hmm. 400000 plus in medical bills. All three credit cards maxed out. Mm -hmm. And your income's only 3600 a month. Yes, ma'am. That's not good, Ed. No, ma'am. Well, Kevin, nice to speak with you today about Ordinary Angels. Uh, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, prepare the tissues. It's going to be a real tearjerker because that ending was like, ugh. Um, and I want to ask, did all those events actually happen? Like, it seems like too good to be true that it happened in that sequence. Yeah, it really did. Um, happened the way it, uh, kind of the way we told it in the story. And um, uh, it was one of those things that the uh, story was just... Uh, uh, too good to be true. So we had to tell it into a movie. And um, uh, what an extraordinary event. Uh, you know, the power that when you don't give up and you put someone else's life as more important than your own, what you can do to impact not just that one life, but then your entire community um, was really something uh, that we thought was a story that would really inspire, uh, really America, inspire our society right now as we're coming out of a pandemic, trying to figure out, you know, how do we get back to normal? Uh, what does normal look like? And so um, uh, th this is a movie. I love movies that just inspire you. Uh, and so this is one of those movies that does that. And people I, uh, so far, as we get it out there and do some pre-release screenings to get audience feedback, uh, movies getting standing ovations and people are really loving it. So February 23rd, it's in theaters everywhere across North America. And how did you find out about the, the story? Yeah, the story was actually brought to us by our partners at Lionsgate. Um, came to them from a producer, John Berg, who uh, received a pitch from uh, musician Dave Matthews, uh, which is how it was kind of all brought together. Dave had uh, uncovered this story uh, through the news media and, and got the rights to it. And uh, when we all of a sudden heard about the story, we're like, wait a minute, we know the pastor of that church and we know some of the players that were actually involved in the True Life events. And uh, uh, so it really felt like God was in the center of it. And it was a story that we really needed to tell. Now, a great cast, um, Hillary Swank and Alan Richson, and he's having really good success with Reacher. So that'll be even more audiences, right? <laughs> Yeah, look, we were really blessed with a great cast. Uh, Hilary Swank, who's been in a lot of my favorite films. She's obviously a two-time Oscar winner. And then Alan Richson, who's everywhere right now uh, in Amazon's popular show, Reacher. Uh, the two of them are the two leads. And, um, you know, they give some of the best performances they've ever uh, given, in my opinion. They're out there right now uh, pubbing this movie really hard, which tells you a lot about how much they really love the film. Um, and... Are there a ton of stories that are very inspiring? I mean, not, it seems like it's so because we can get all these inspirational um, films coming our way. And that's your specialty, right? Yeah, I mean, look, we always are looking for true life stories that showcase the power of the gospel. Um, we love underdog stories. Um, we love stories that um, really lift up the human spirit. So there's there's tons of those all over the place. The question is, what are the right stories for us to tell? And um, and we we want God to be at the center of those stories. And so uh, we've got a big slate coming this year. Uh, we're certainly excited about it. You know, the funny thing about Hollywood and the movie theaters is everybody votes with their tickets. So when Jesus Revolution, which was our last film, did really well, it allowed Ordinary Angels to have a release date. And uh, it, it te tells the movie exhibitors and the studios, hey, we want more movies just like this. And as long as uh, people buy those tickets, we'll continue to make inspiring stories that put God at the center and showcase the power of the gospel. 